Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Um, finally, the time is here. I have been feeling super overwhelmed lately because I've been testing lots of perfume. I've been purchasing lots of perfume and I love what I'm testing and I love what new purchases I have. But the thing is, the more I accumulate, the more I acquired, I feel a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of bottles that's stuck in this drawer. So finally, I think it's time for declutter. I already posted uh, my perfume that I am decluttering in Mercari. So by the time this video is posted, it might already been sold, it might not. I'm going to link to my Mercari account down below. For sure, this is the first batch of decluttering. And I will be decluttering a lot more because I am not a collector. I love trying out new scents. I love wearing the perfume that I have in my collection. And I know that my collection is going to keep growing and growing and I want to get rid of the one that I don't use. It's simple. Alright, so the first one that I'm going to declutter is... This is Lancome La Vie Belle. Oh, let me see how I'm going to do this. Okay, I'll just hold it like this. Yeah, so this is Lancome La Vie Belle. Uh, this is like the best-selling perfume out there Jeremy fragrance recommended I bought it because of him and it's highly talked about a lot of people love this this is a dang hundred mil bottle is huge um, I am okay with this at some point in time when I first started my perfume journey I do like patchouli but recently I find myself not liking patchouli actually Patchouli makes me really sick. It gives me an instant headache, makes me want to puke. Um, not that I think that this is a bad sense. This is actually beautiful praline patchouli. So this is a nice one. It's just that I'm not a big fan of patchouli. And I have been trying to use this. As you could see, I've used it quite a bit. But this thing is 100 ml bottle. Uh, I, I I try to use this for games to, you know, when I visit friends and want them to smell a perfume in my collection for games, I try to use that up, but there's no freaking way I could finish this up. So I think it's time to declutter, time to say goodbye and enjoy what I truly have. So this one, bye to this one. Alright, the next one that I'm getting rid of is, this is Zara Sandalwood. This is a dupe for La Labo Santel 33. At some point in time, I tested Santel 33 and I fall in love with it. Um, and I have a travel size of Santel 33 and never reach for that one. I bought Zara Sandalwood because, I don't know, I read from Reddit. Uh, this is talked about. Monica Kyo. She loves this. She highly recommended it. And I know that Zara only release their perfume on a limited quantity. And once it's sold, it's really hard to find. I try to hang on to this because it's a dupe for La Labo Santel 33. To be honest, I have other perfume that smells like La Labo Santel 33. Yeah, that I'm going to talk about in a separate video. Probably will do a sandalwood video. And for sure, I'm over it. I don't need a whole dang 80 mils of dupe for sandal 33. Yeah. Okay, so time to say goodbye to this one. Bye bye. Okay, so the third one is not going to be a surprise to you. This is. Yves Saint Laurent Montpari or the Parfum. This is a synthetic strawberry patchouli. Why am I decluttering this? Because this is synthetic strawberry and patchouli. I don't like patchouli anymore. Uh, and I also don't like synthetic strawberry. Because of that, I'll never reach for this. I try to use it. Oops. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I will never use this up. I try it, guys. I try it. And the more I try it, the more I force myself to use this, the more I hate patchouli. Because of that, goodbye Mon Pari. Oh, by the way, this is the first perfume that I fell in love with. When I first started my perfume journey, this is the perfume that I first fall in love with. And now it's time to say goodbye. Now this is number one, two, three. Okay, number four. I never talk about this in my video. Um, this is a niche brand from Primera Perfumes. I got this in a giveaway. Is this called uh, the Aroma Intense? Yeah, okay, I have the box here. It's called the Aroma. It's what is it called? Yeah, okay. The Aroma Intense by Primera Perfumes Kuwait. Apparently, this does not sell anywhere in the U.S. I was really thrilled to win this giveaway. In fact, I actually requested this because they gave an option if I want to pick this one versus another one, and I picked this one because I didn't check that it has patchouli. Oh my god, guys, this patchouli is so strong. I tried it on my skin before. If you love patchouli, you're gonna love this. It's so strong in patchouli, and underneath the patchouli, it's actually really beautiful. I smell some, like, gourmand side of it. I want to say that this smells like, I don't know, rebel flare maybe? I'm not sure, but the patchouli here is unbearable I can't I just can't guys I'm, I can't even though it's really beautiful dry down's amazing I I just can't I just can't it's time to say goodbye all right so another perfume that I'm getting rid of is a backup bottle aliens or sublime I was so crazy there was some point in time where I, that I was head over heel with Alien Essence Absolute and I wanted to buy it so bad and I bought a decan from Mercari and I was in love and I bought a refill bottle and at that time I bought Alien a Sublime and I love it and as soon as I heard that this is getting discontinued I went to buy literally three or four more bottles it's pretty crazy I finally managed to get rid of some, sold some on Mercari and sell to friends and I, I decided to keep one but I still have this one. This is brand new. I don't know why it's not full. I never spray this literally. This is brand new. Never spray. So yeah, this is, I'm getting rid of this backup. Uh, I have the whole box as well. This is beautiful you guys. This is a, um, a citrusy alien in the opening and then the dry down is just like a regular purple bottle alien which I do have so yeah I am not decluttering my one I'm decluttering the backup of what I have is this uh, Victor and Rolf magic dancing roses I'm gonna open it up actually I never used this one before a, at some point in time, I did a giveaway where I was going to decan 5 mil of this. Uh, but the winner is Yummy411, and she has this one as well. So she replaced it with the uh, Search Lutan Umbuofani, and because of that, this one has never been used. I never sprayed. This is like brand new. I haven't touched this one. The reason why I'm decluttering this is because I have like a 10 mil travel spray of this one and I have difficulty finishing that one up. I have so many perfume. So and then this one is like a discontinued um, limited edition product. Lots of people love it. And I figure I want to pass it along to people that might actually use it. I have simply have no room, even though I do like this one a lot. This is, um, I have my decan, hold on. Let me get that one. I have this Victor Rolf Magic Dancing Roses. This one smells like 
Oh, this is a beautiful cherry liquor. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like rum and those like candied cherry, the the red cherry that you got at the bar if you go out drinking. As if you're drinking that rum and then you bite into the cherries. At the dry down, this is a rose perfume. Smells like Deli people compare this with Delina because it's a, such a rose forward perfume. This is beautiful, you guys. I absolutely love this one. I'm actually reconsidering whether I should sell that one. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's beautiful, you guys. I don't know. I might keep this one. I don't know. I love this one. It's so good. It's so good. I just will never use that because I just have too many perfume in my collection. And I'm keeping this. I think this is enough. I have the Lena as well. And I have Roses Vanille, which is under 20 mil. I have a lot of rose perfume, you guys. Is this Shalimar Souffle, Souffle Intense uh, by Guerland? This one is supposed to be like a lot of people say it smells like lemon cookie. Uh, it's like a more vanilla benzoin version of Shalimar. I just don't like this one. I tried now that I'm smelling it. Actually, don't mind this, but I have 90 plus bottle. I'm not going to keep the one perfume that I will try to like and smell just one time. So um, I'm probably going to decan one mil just so that I remember the scent, but that's about it. Um, yeah, this one's leaving. Hey, Zodi Voltaire, this is her. I use quite a bit of it, as you can see. Actually, it did... It didn't come full, actually it started with here. So I might be using like 5 mil or so, maybe more, 5 to 10 mil. This is a giant clunky 100 mil bottle, so at least there's 90 mil in here for sure. This is a beautiful scent. It's super long lasting. Um, those of you that have this, you know that this is super long lasting. This lasts 20 plus hours. It started off as a creamy gourmand whipped cream, vanilla, chestnut, sandalwood scent. And the time progresses, this changes, and over time, this turns masculine. And the masculine part is where it bothers me. I don't mind a unisex perfume. This one is made of synthetic sandalwood. I think it's the same ingredients they use at Eccentric 04, Eccentric Molecule 04. Yeah, I can't stand that synthetic sandalwood. So yeah, because of that, time to say goodbye for this one. This is a good one. It's a, a lot of people loves it. Beast mode, high performance, amazing opening, amazing body. Dry down, I can. <laughs> Guys, I can. I'm sorry. So time to say goodbye. It's been nice. And I tried and I tried and I tried to love it so much. All right. So two more that I already decluttered but um, forgot to mention. So I'm going to just add a picture right here. Uh, I decluttered Ariana Grande R.E.M. The first time I smelled it, it smelled like sandalwood, synthetic sandalwood. The same synthetic sandalwood in Zadig Voltaire, this is her. You could watch the video where I mention it, um, where I do my Ariana Grande R REM review. I love Cloud. I was hoping that REM would be better than Cloud. I was super impressed with Cloud. Love the scent profile. Love the gourmand aspect. Love the longevity. I know it performs better on the cloth. But I love Cloud. I love, 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 love Cloud. So as soon as I heard that she came up with R.E.M., I went to buy it right away. Um, but guys, I can't. I, At the time, I was struggling to like this. And the goal is to just keep this 
and declutter REM because this is a better performance compared to REM. This one lasts 20 plus hours, whereas REM only lasts like three hours, four hours. And after that, it's a skin scent. So I don't need anything that smells like the dry down of this that doesn't have a good performance. So because of that, I decluttered Ariana Grande REM. Uh, another perfume that I decluttered, but I decided to give it away to a friend is... This is a gift from a friend of mine, Nat. Uh, Nat gifted me this perfume. It's called Halloween. I'm going to put a picture right here. So this is a very clean dryer sheets kind of perfume. Um, it smells amazing on clothes, but on my skin, it turns really, really not good. It has this like burnt rubber scent that I do not like. When I review that product, I say that um, it smells really good as a, as a cloth perfume, like where you spray a closet. Because on the cloth, there's no burnt rubber note. So it smells like a dryer sheet. So it smells really clean, laundry detergent kind of vibe. But I can't wear it on my skin. And he likes it, so I'm gifting it to him. Um, Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.